Hi Link family, I hope you're doing great. A uh, video today, finally, I got my new PC so I can do videos again. It's quite a good timing because we got the new patch note released. A few things to discuss and we will go straight into that. So Link got some buffs uh, down for one, two ones that will now be faster in recovery on hit, which means potentially back three will be working afterward. So potentially damage is increased. Uh, more routes will be available anyway, so it's a good news. It's a small buff of down for a 2-1. 4-1 plus 1 plus 2 will be buffed as well. Um, it's the lower range of the attacks that will be increased. So potentially we will be able to punish things that we were not capable of punishing before. Here I'm thinking about AOP, for example, or uh, the Kali roll. Uh, so back turn into forward 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4 on Ning. Currently if you are trying to punish it with the shoulder, she might beat you with another carry roll afterward. Um, won't be the case anymore, maybe. We will see, but I will come back into that. It's maybe actually not so good for us. Uh, we will see. Um, RDS 3 that is now giving a wall bound. So RDS 3 is quite good when your opponent is back to a wall on the ground and you believe he will get up with a kick, whatever the kick is, if you have a nice frame advantage. So RDS 3 will beat any low because it does low crush. Um, it might also beat the mid or high because you have the frame advantage. And if you're wrong and RDS 3 does whiff, actually the distance created naturally by the move on the recovery while she's rolling forward uh, will make it impossible for your opponent to whiff punish you. And if they try to whiff punish you then with a get up kick, they will whiff and you will get a free RDS 4 afterwards. So RDS 3 is quite a good move at the wall but the follow up wasn't so good so far. Now we might get around 50 damages uh, from that I believe, like I don't know what the follow up will be but I believe we will get um, RDS 2-1 into a uh, war splat into a 1 down back 1 so it might be around 50 damages so it's quite a nice buff here uh, war standing 1 at first it looks like it is enough but it's not so if we have a look here damages are reduced the uh, startup frame are increased from 11 to 13 so it looks like enough but actually you get a follow up after that so we finally get a 13 frame Punisher for Link, she was missing it. I don't know if it will be that good, that's a bit funny because when I started the game and I saw that for example up forward 4-4 four four of uh, Eliza is launchable by Kazuya but all I get with Link is a wild standing 4, I was pretty pissed. Um, then I understood that my wild standing 4 was actually the best in the game, you get 50-50 um, afterwards so I don't feel anymore like we are really missing something. Um, while Rising 1-4 one, will not be a launcher anyway, uh, it might give a worse plot though. Uh, it will be basically the new move that we saw um, in the last video. So it's a buff, definitely not a fantastic one. I don't think that she really needed that. And I'm saying that when at some point I was pissed off not having it and writing on forums that oh, she's missing that, but anyway, it's a buff, definitely. Um, AOP plus 1 plus 2 get 1 more damages, it's again not really a buff, but okay, that's here, that's a, a small buff for this move, uh, 24 to 25 damages. Forward plus 3 plus 4 will be faster on recovery, so it might help a bit on Okizeme, we will see. It might also help in neutral to um, close the gap with the opponent, sometimes it's pretty hard. Here, forward 3 plus 4 will be reduced by 3 frames, I believe. Where is it? Here, yeah, 3 frames. 3 frames faster to recover, so maybe easier to um, bait the wall standing 2. We will see how it goes. Uh, small buff, anyway. Um, we also have potential buffs like down back 3 here that will get a counter hit property, we don't know what that is, maybe we will have a free follow up, let's hope. Um, 
forward 214, LDS 14 and LDS down 34. All these moves at the moment, when you get uh, countries on the last part, on the 4, you get nothing. Uh, well, damage are increased, but that's it. Now maybe we will get a follow up, we will see. It's not clear what they change uh, about this move, but so far they say that the, um, the opponent spinning when it lands as a counter hit. So change the move to send the opponent spinning when it lands as a counter hit. So we might be able to get a follow up afterward if we get the counter hit on the last part of the string. Not a big buff anyway, if it is a buff. Um, not a big buff anyway because these are highs. So we are not using them. Um, I'm saying that, but 4 2 one 4 is not a high actually. It's a mid, but the second one is a high. 4 2 one the one is a high. Anyway, uh, we have while raising 3 that will have a new counter hit um, animation. Potential buff, but again this move is so slow. Does not have a fantastic range, does not have tracking properties. So whatever they changed here, it will not change anything to Link's game, I believe. Uh, they did fix sidestep 3 into down plus 1 plus 2. Um, they are saying that there were an issue with the damages when you are doing that, but actually I never did that. I never used that, so I don't know. We will see here again. Uh, but it's just a fix, it's not a buff anymore. And then we have potential nerf with Y standing 4. What they say here is that they change the opponent's behavior when hit while downed. This is pretty not clear what they mean. But what I believe is going to happen is that if you force your opponent to crouch, it will go down, then you use a wild standing 4 and instead of getting a 50-50 afterward because the opponent is going down, you get a knockdown. I believe that you will get only the opponent to get up and you will be able to block. That's what I believe will happen. So that's my fear. Uh, small enough here, we don't know. We will see. Um, there are several situations where you can um, fake a low and get your opponent to duck and then you punish it with while sending four and see it's actually free. Uh, I don't know, we, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong because it's pretty unclear, but I, I can feel that they, were they will do that. I don't know, we'll see in four days, so it will be pretty quickly. Um, if we look overall at the changes that they have been doing, I think that more and more we see that we are supposed to play Ling in a defensive way, like Spacey Crystal, for example. Um, very defensive Ling will be stronger thanks to the Danforward 2 1, which is a whiff punish tool and a punish tool. Uh, that will be even stronger uh, thanks to the um, while standing. 13 frame Punisher Yeah, she will be even stronger. She was already arguably top tier when it came to Punishers and with Punishers and now she is even better uh, We also have Perry Punch Perry AOP that beats many many strings and mix up of opponents so you can play Link Defensively in a way that nobody can Not a single other character can do that. We have back one, eight frame. So yeah, I believe that they want us to play her more defensively or actually they are just buffing this side of Xiaoyu because there is many way to play Xiaoyu. Um, anyway, one other important thing here, we saw forward plus one plus two that has a lower hitbox. Now, it is not the only move. Uh, actually, most of the characters got something like that. I believe it is linked to Zafina coming, because I think that Zafina plays quite low for what I saw in the videos. I never played Zafina before, uh, my last Tekken was Tekken 3. 
So I, be I believe it is related to Zafina, but it might also hurt us. Um, I don't know how it will impact AOP, but it might impact us. We will see. We will see. Um, I think that's it for today. I think it covers more or less everything. So yeah, small buffs. Generally speaking, she was buffed. Also, maybe it would be useful to say that it seems that most characters were buffed, actually. Most of them. So, it's not increasing lean in the tier list, especially that she still doesn't have any good meat to track on her right. She is not really stronger than before, it seems. But we will see when the uh, patch will be released in 4 days, the 9th uh, of September, and the 10th we will have Tafina. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, I wish you a good day and I will see you soon for some more link content. Bye bye!